anyone, you're all pretty engaged, so I don't know who would see this. Bastion, you would, uh, but you wouldn't really know. You see a look on, on Mac's face that like, he's never looked like this before. Like he looks angry. Like normally he's kind of like aloof uh, and everything. He looks up with just pure hatred in his eyes uh, towards this, this guy who's throwing his coconut around. Um, I said we didn't want to see what happened. Bastion says, <laughs> let's get him, brother. Um, and he holds Michael in his one hand and just like kind of like, just starts like flailing his other hand. Um, and then Bastion, yeah, I think you're the only one that would see this. This rock here starts to come up and levitate (laughs) and then flies with so much force at this guy. And cracks him right in the head for it goes through his head. Um, And can I catch the rock? What? Can I catch the rock? You could do do uh do an athletics. No, Bastion is too taken aback. Uh, I rolled a one, so <laughs> cool. Um, so when you put up your hand, it like it hits you with a one. It hits you, um, and you're gonna take. It, it was slowed down by the guy's head. Um, so take a, a quarter of what the damage was, which was, I stopped doing the math on it because I'm like, this guy's dead. Um, it, was uh, 20, felt, it was 22 damage that he got him for. So uh, 11, but you're raging, so five or No, six. that's why I said a quarter, yeah. yeah it was a quarter, yeah. We're just gonna take. Yeah, just take five damage. Okay. Um, yeah, and that guy, he's gone. And and Max just kind of like, just seething. Like he doesn't really like react to the fact that he just killed someone. He's just like, just standing there with Michael in his hand, like seething. Um, and then after a little bit, he slowly just turns and looks at the other guy who was doing it. And that guy's face just drops. Um, but that's the end of Max's turn. That's amazing. I am so upset that Aleda is engaged and fully looking the other way. There's no way she saw that. Um, After this, Bash is going to be like, Max quite the warrior. And everyone's going to be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, like, did, did everyone witness that? Or was that just like Bastion who saw that happen? Just Bastion saw it. OK. That was just bad. Yeah, because even you guys, like, you and Greya, the pillars are in your way, so you wouldn't see Yeah. Them. Also, we're, like, fighting. Aleda and Dietrich, you have a pillar in your way. Aleda and Dietrich, you might have seen a rock all of a sudden just kind of, like, fall on the ground as if it were thrown. I'd assume it's the pebble guy. <laughs> um, yeah, now we're back up at Thomas. He's just going to take another swing at this dwarf. does hit him. Her. Her. That's not the right one. Um, he just kind of takes in like, when he hit her kind of in the ribs before, he just kind of keeps going back and like hitting her in the same spot. She's tough. She doesn't seem to be like that affected by it. Mm. Um, 
brawler's turns. Um, so these two that are by Dietrich and Aleda, they're gonna take a swing at you guys again. Fine. That's a something to hit. Which one of us? Uh, for sorry, for Dietrich, it's a unnatural twenty to hit. Hit. For nine points of damage. And then Aleda. No. It's a twelve to hit, or no, sorry, an eleven to hit. That's that's just my AC without my magical armor. That hits. Eleven does still, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm a weakling. Um, for seven points of damage. Uh, these other two are just gonna keep hitting each other still. They literally keep rolling the same thing when hitting each other. They're just canceling each other out. Too much. I'm okay uh, with that. They can have at it. Seven and eight. Uh, the other one's gonna take a swing at you, Kaladir, again. Okay. Uh, 16? No. No way. Um, this one's coming for you, Bastion, again, because he didn't learn his lesson from hurting his hand. That's all right. We'll learn him. That doesn't hit you. You're still kind of moving a bit, and he's like, he's a little hesitant now that he hurt his hand. So like he goes, but it's one of those things where like he kind of psychs himself out. So right before he hits you, he's like, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one that Mac turned and looked at, he's backing up. He's going the other way. Um, and this one is going to try again. The one um, that tripped on the carpet, he's going to try again to make it up and hit Dietrich. Uh, this time he makes it up, but I don't think he hits. That's a 14? No. No. Um, so he's like kind of embarrassed, so he's, he's not a full punch when he gets up there, because he's he's ashamed of himself. <laughs> um, and all the other ones are still just watching and just like yelling. Um, William. William is going to use his bonus action to pick up. Oh no, he already had one. Never mind. Um, he's gonna move forward and go for the one. No, he's gonna scoot in between you and try to get the elf. He's gonna try to be a brave boy and get the elf. Oh, my prince. Oh. Um, let me pull up his stats. I don't think I gave him a club yet. Join the club. <laughs> well, no one should laugh at that, but thank you. <laughs> Shit, William, you're good with a club. Holy crap. He knows how to club. He's going clubbing all the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he hits. Uh, so he comes up, um, and he actually hits the hand that's holding the pebbles so that this elf drops all the pebbles that it was holding, um, and this elf's eyes just, like, dart down at William. Um, you can see that when he hit the hand, like, the hand is a little kind of, like, 
William probably broke some fingers there. No. Hell yeah. Wait, you go, William. Thank you, Snack Man. Looks like he was a brave boy. Love, William. And, boy. Uh, that's his turn. And William does kind of like when he does it, he like is very much like he puts on his brave face and he's done seeing like this elf pick on Greya, goes up and like hits the elf in the hand. But then like as soon as the elf like darts its eyes down, William William's face is kind of like, oh shit. <laughs> um, and that's it for that. Uh, Kelly, dear, your turn. Wait, so the person who is uh still punching at me okay. i'm going to wow i just closed roll 20. i'm going to open roll 20. okay not roll that 20, is your okay. action dd beyond <laughs> love changing tabs okay i mean they want to use my club wow let me in let me in Let me in. Let me in. Okay. Uh, first attack, eight to hit. <laughs> eight does not hit, no. Okay, I keep rolling twos, I'm switching my d20. Okay, second attack. Um, 10 to hit? <laughs> no. Okay. I'm just flailing around with this glove. <laughs> Man. Um, is that everything? That's it. That's it. That's all I got. Okay. Unbelievable. Um, Elena, it's your turn. Uh, well, I'm going to say, well, I, well, I warned you. Uh, and... I forgot this on my last turn. I actually have two weapon fighting. So first I'm gonna go in with the torch. I'm gonna see how that goes. Okay. That's a 13 to hit. That hits, yep. Okay, great. I'm glad that someone is hitting. So that's four plus, I have a minus one because I'm weak, but you said a plus three because of the fire. So that's six, six damage. Cool. You said you get another attack? I do, because I have two weapon fighting. So I'm going to use my Hag's Claws and my other open hand. Yeah, you are. My first time using them because I don't think Aleda wanted to up until now, but let's go for it. All right. So are you essentially slapping him? No, I have I have claws that I've stopped um, maintaining. Mm. Okay, so I rolled an 18. You said it's a plus five to hit. So yeah. that's 23 to hit. Yep. Leda's uncomfortable with how easily this comes. And then it's gonna be 2d6 plus three slashing. So I have 2d6 here. Yeah. So that's eight plus three is 11 slashing damage. Cool. Um, so you kind of just keep baffling this guy. Like you first you picked up the torch and he wasn't expecting that. And then like he saw you coming for what he thought was a slap. But then when you like got him across the face, he is just like, not only in pain, but just like almost in shock. Um, and you noticed before you did that, that kind of exactly what you said, it came really easily. As soon as you opened up your mind and like allowed yourself to go there, the claws just kind of like, you were already not really maintaining them, but they even like kind of came out a little bit more and just like, you could feel that they were harder and sharper all of a sudden as soon as you kind of like let yourself go there. Um, 
I don't like that, but I like that. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Anything else? Uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, Dietrich. Uh, Dietrich will say, well, friends, I guess if we're fighting, if you could let me tie up my shoe, and he's gonna go down to, like, tie up his shoe, and then come back up and headbutt the guy. Cool. <laughs> Which one? The one you were already hitting? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, I keep rolling the same thing. I feel like this <laughs> is- Is it a 15? Yeah. Yeah, that is. <laughs> uh... So that is eight points of damage. Cool. Uh, and then second attack, and it'll be like, oh, I'm so sorry, and kind of like swing around and hit the other guy beside him. Okay. Dietrich is such a little shit. <laughs> uh, that is 22 to hit. That does. Uh, that is 10 points of damage to the other guy. Nice. Ah, sorry, gotta put a cat down. <laughs> um, and he is going to flurry of blows. I was about to say, not that. Um, <laughs> uh, so he's going to um, kind of like lift up his arms and like in a upwards motion, kind of like, a, like he's shrugging like, oh no, and elbow the guy beside him. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's a nat one, so that doesn't happen. No. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, which one were you going for there? Sorry. The first guy that I hit. The first guy? Okay, so with a nat one, when you bring up your elbow, the torch is right there. So you put it like in the flame, so you take that three fire okay, damage okay. to your He's like, ah, ah, and then just like swings his elbow uh, down towards the guy. Okay, the same guy, the first guy? Yeah, the first guy. Okay. Uh, and that's a 16 to hit. That hit. And that is seven points of damage. Cool. Um, cool, so what that first guy. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just saying what I love about watching Dietrich fighting. I know it's on purpose, but it's, I imagine it's like watching Mr. Magoo accidentally knock <laughs> yeah. into people. And I that's love that watching. that's the performance that yeah. you've decided on. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. That's what he's Dietrich is, Dietrich is such a performer that these guys still don't really know that you're fighting them. They still want to hit you <laughs> because they like to fight. But like, a they still don't movie. believe that like you're full on like in combat right now. I don't want to give them that satisfaction. Um, and especially the first guy, he's like kind of looking a little woozy now and a little out of it because he's taking so many shots to the head. Um, is that it? Yep. Um, okay, the elf is up. Hey. Uh, hey, so hey. William, William just like made him drop all his pebbles that he was using. Um, this piece of shit just looks down and like he's kind of glaring at William with his eyes but his mouth is still just <clears throat> giving this really creepy smile still like he just like never stops with this grin ah sorry I need water please hydrate yourself don't die on us <laughs> Uh, we beat them, everyone. We beat them all. <laughs> if Richard goes down, we win. Um, and then, yeah, he just looks. So he's like holding at his hand, which looks like maybe William broke some fingers and stuff. And he just like reaches out with his other hand. And like a flame just starts coming in his hand. Uh, and he blasts it right in William's face. <gasps> no, William. Get some. Shit. Pathetic. <laughs> he just like singes. William's really short. Um, so like he puts his, uh, and this elf's really tall. So even when he puts his hand out, which he thinks is the level that William's head would be on, 
it just like kind of goes over top and like it gets William, but only for four points of damage and William's hair is kind of singed. For a second, he looks like Kelladier when Kelladier's mad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so like, even though it wasn't much, William is still not doing great. Uh, so that was enough to kind of like make him start to look a little weak again. Um, and the elf, even though he didn't do much damage, still just kind of looks like he really enjoyed that. Um, and now it's the dwarf's turn again, who just, they're not moving. The dwarf and Thomas are just whacking each other with these table legs. Uh, but actually, the dwarf does not hit. William was going in her ribs with it, uh, and then she swung, and he's very tall and lanky, and she's a short and stubby dwarf. So, like, she swung, and he was easily able to just, like, kind of, like, suck in and duck out of the way. Um, so her table, like, just kind of swooped in the air without hitting him. Um, Bastion. Bastion, I guess, will finally address the person that's been hitting him. I thought I told you to run, friend! And I was gonna pick up another barrel and smash it on that guy's head. Hey, sounds good. Uh, so that is a 22 to hit. Or 23, sorry. Yeah, that hits, for sure. Uh, then a total of seven damage with the barrel. Okay. And second attack, another nat 20, because that's just how we're doing it today. So 12 As long as you are. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, 29 damage uh, that time. Yeah, so the barrel definitely smashes again. Yeah. Um, And it knocks this guy down to the ground. And he's like, he's still alive, but like, there's nothing going on in his eyes, and he's just kind of like swaying back and forth a little bit. All right. Fatality. Uh, uh, and that is Bastion's, I guess Bastion's turn, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Greya. Okay. Um, ooh, Greya's a little conflicted right now. Um... She doesn't like what this guy's doing to her friends, but okay. But I think she's sufficiently angry, so she's gonna come up um, past William towards what's his face and um, she's gonna be pretty upset and she's gonna be like, please don't hurt my friends. And she's gonna not quite hit him, but like like hit him a little bit um and then she's gonna cast inflict wounds okay is that you rolling or me rolling me okay okay so get him Greya. just picture it like tell me my like, like, that's a <laughs> this is 17 to hit uh that hits yeah okay but amount of damage. You're not a D10. Hold on. There we go. Three plus seven plus eight. Eighteen? Nice. Yes, eighteen. Okay. Um so again, like this. Shit-eating grin doesn't leave his face, but he does kind of like, um, like kind of. What's the word I'm looking for? Wince. Um. Hmm. Wince. Wince. That's the one. He does like wince uh, when it happens, uh, and kind of like bends over, but he's still smiling, uh, and he just looks down at you, and he's like, "Oh, you are remarkable." Um. And that's it. Or right, yeah. it's your turn. So is that it? <laughs> I hate this elf. Um, I think that's all she can do, right? Oh, I guess I can do. 
mass healing ward is everybody are people hurt uh, yes yeah i'm hurt does anyone need healing i can only do it once the, the mass healing ward that's why i was wondering wait until later then because i'm okay. still above half okay um, so that's everything then? So that's everything, yeah. Cool. Um, it is Max's turn. And he Max. is slowly walking towards this guy. Superhuman Mac. Um, still like absolutely seething. Um, and he, what does he do? Don't forget he has blessed if he needs it. Oh yeah. Uh, Mac is a superhuman now. He doesn't need bless. <laughs> <laughs> he can still use it. He can still use it. Don't give Richard the option. <laughs> um. Give me a second here. He again just like holds. Michael in his one hand reaches out his other hand and just like kind of shoves this guy up against the wall. Um, and hold on. And this guy, you see the spot where um, Mac has his hands, the guy just starts burning, like singeing the skin around where Mac's hand is. Damn, that's hardcore. Um, Oh, no, sorry. Um, Can you imagine Nagrea saying those exact words? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> that's what's Laura, that? That's hardcore. That's a fistful of dice if I ever heard one. Shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a. Oh, that's for the amount of dice, Mac. You rolled so poorly. Oh no, Mac. Mac is not that important to me. Michael's Michael's on the ground now, right? So like, no. Michael's oh no, hands. oh no. Michael's not in the Michael. other hand. It's just this hand that's that's burning him. Um. Yeah, so this guy yells out in pain. Um, he's still very much standing, but he had, like, it almost looks like when Mac takes his hand away, it almost looks like, um, like Mac, like, branded him with his hand almost. Ooh. Mac um, attack. Blessed be the dull, for they have no mind to doubt. Blessed be the cruel, for they have no heart to vow. Blessed be the weak, for they have no teeth to gouge. Blessed be the empty, for we have no soul to shroud. One by one, the stars go out, and Dake is plunged into darkness. Fuck! What? What the hell, Dake is going on? By Mahu. I don't believe in gods. I told you that they would turn their backs on us one day. This shouldn't be possible. No, no. Things just got a little more interesting. Uh, is anyone else seeing this? What? Nothing like this has ever happened before. This isn't right. You stand at the edge of the broken, blasted wall, staring into the unblinking expanse of shadow outside. What do you do? What on on Dake is going on? Are you bored of the usual character archetypes? Do you feel like you see the same characters over and over again? Is there not enough chaotic energy in your podcasts? Well, have we got the solution for you. Hi, I'm Harper. And I'm Darby. Chaotic Creations is a podcast where we take the weirdest character prompts we can think of and make playable Dungeons & Dragons characters. There's bad jokes. I wonder what Minotaur sounds like when they're really, you know, having a heartfelt speech. It's really moving. 
backstories. I am an eagle kenku. She probably just says eagle. And people are like, not quite. And of course, plenty of chaos. You know, I don't consider mayonnaise to be a liquid, but I also don't really consider it to be food. Maybe he squishes his pecs together with like a little symbol in between. Goes, we upload new episodes every Wednesday, and you can hear the two of us and some guests make some truly strange D&D characters. Find us on your local podcatcher of choice and check us out on Twitter at Chaotic Pod. I'm Harper, your lawful nerdy paladin. And I'm Darby, your chaotic tired bard. And we hope you'll join us on Chaotic Creations. And we're back up to Thomas, who is going to swing again. This Thomas doesn't hit this time. When Thomas like dodged out of the way, it like threw him off enough that like when he went to swing, it wasn't a very good swing. And Thomas missed. He's uh, in rough shape. We don't blame him. And now it's all the fighters again. Did Thomas also add bless to his attack? Is he was blessed by Greya, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know if bless would help. Let me see if it's even one d four. It would help. Let's see. He hits. Yee! Good call. Good call. I advocate for my NPCs. <laughs> um, okay. Cool. Uh, so he reaches back and kind of like with his table leg while he's like reaching up, he comes down and just like, it doesn't deal a lot of damage, but he just does it because He's trying to like, just be a little shit like Thomas is. Uh, so he just like plunks her on top of the head with the with the table leg. Oh uh, boy. Bouncing. Yeah. The most disrespect. She should suffer emotional damage for that. <laughs> um, now it's As all- a short person. <laughs> I now know. it's all these fighters again. So the two that are at Dietrich, they're going to take swings at you. Nope. Oh. Um, 16? Nope. No. Nope. Okay, so neither of them hit you. Um, the one with the Leda, I don't think he's going to attack. He's, like, holding his face. He, You have scared him now. You've done things that he... Um, he doesn't really... He's only here because he likes the fight, so this fight is now too much for him, and he's like, I don't care. Like, I'm not That's right. Back up. Um, I'll do the two who hit each other later. Um, Kelladier, the one's gonna swing at you again. Yeah. 19? Yep. Sure does. Where'd my, oh yeah, I used it. Uh, that is five points of damage. You. Okay. Um, the one who Mac had against the wall um, is going to try to grab Mac's wrist um, and grab his other hand, which is holding Michael still. Um, and that he's not going to attack. He's just now kind of trying to hold Mac off of him. Uh, and then the one with Bastion is going to take another swing. I thought he was down. Oh, yeah. He can still swing because he's not out. He's woozy. Oh, okay. So he's going to have disadvantage swing because he's oh, just kind of doing this now. Okay. Disadvantage. Yeah, that was a nine. So. Oh, uh, just give him advantage because I was attacking recklessly. Or not advantage, but just do normal rolls because. Um, okay, well, I the attacked- first one. If we're just counting the first one, that was the weak one. So oh, okay. there wouldn't be a second one. Um, so yeah, he's just kind of, like I said, there's no life behind his eyes now. He's so woozy. So he's just doing it to try to keep you away now, but he's not hitting you. Steve, I appreciate you being so honest about that, but don't do it. <laughs> but you shut are a, it up. You are shining bastion of truth. With resistance to damage, so, you know, whatever. Um, and this guy, 
who has been watching, or sorry, uh, the guy that's like still at the ring watching, um, when he sees Thomas kind of being a, a little brat, he's gonna hop over and try to help um, the dwarf. Unacceptable. That's definitely cheating. <laughs> um, yeah. No helping in this game. That's what Thomas is facing. He hits him. Um, so yeah, Thomas like bonked the elf, the elf, the dwarf on the head, uh, and then this guy reaches over and comes up and like punches Thomas in the face right after he does that. Um, so Thomas is a little like, what the fuck? And that's it for them. I hate that for him. Uh, now we are back at. William, uh, and he is going to um, say to Greya before he does anything, he's going to be like, get out of here, Greya. I don't like the way this one's looking at you. Um, and he's going to swing with his club again. I'm still on the thumb. Gets him. Not for much. But still hits him. Um, but that was that was so little damage that like there's no wincing or anything that comes from the elf. He just turns his shit eating grin from Greya back to William. Uh, and he's just being a fucking asshole. <laughs> when the um, words escape you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, he's just the worst. He's just the creepiest, worst kind of individual who is just clearly just sitting there when all this is happening, thinking, how can I hurt them next? Ooh. Yeah, Greta is not fond of him. That's the strongest words, Greya. Oh, no. I'm not fond of that person. Not my friend. <laughs> Growing up, if Greya ever said that, they'd be like, "Watch your language." <laughs> Actually, I mean, though, Greya this is the first was person wrong. Greya's met that isn't her friend. Yes, and she Greya? considered it. She was like, "Maybe," and then she was like, "No." Yeah. Oh, she definitely at the beginning was like, "Oh, we could fix this. We could be friends still." <laughs> um, Kelly dear. Hey, fire my club. I'm still, okay. I'm still swinging at this person. <sighs> um, that is nine to hit. I feel like Kelly dear's never been in a tavern brawl in his life. <laughs> no, you know, like. This is different than like the crazy. field, so he does not know what's going on. Second attack with a club. Honestly. Um, 13 to hit. That hits. Oh, bless. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I get to use my club finally. Okay. Um. Nine plus I get my less but really okay, so that's ten oh. points of damage. Woo! I did something. You finally landed a hit. He's he's still looking okay, but he's dead. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I can't do anything because I don't have my shield. So that's. Um, I'm going to use... No, that's my turn. That's good. That's it. Okay. Um, Elena. 
Um, so the one that I was fighting with previously is disengaged, or is he backing up or backing away? Um, he'd be, he's just kind of turned and covering his face. So I'd say he's effectively disengaged because he's not like, he's still right in your direct area, but he's like almost cowering away from you. Okay. Um, so basically I just want to say like, stand down. Um, to like basically be like, your your fight is done, like your battle's done, kind of to indicate that like this battle is over with, so you're out of the fight. I don't know if that works. Does that does that make sense? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, he can't walk away right now because it doesn't it's not his turn, but he does just kind of like nod to you, like, yes, yes, of course. I'm done, I'm out. Great. Are we counting that as a bonus action or as a full action for intimidate? We can just count that as a bonus action. Thank you. Uh, In that case, I will uh, attack the, uh, the, I'm gonna move up five feet and attack one of the um, opponents of Dietrich. Okay. There we go, I've moved my little noggin uh, and I'm going to uh, attack first with the torch. That was a d12, it was not a d20. (laughs) I rolled an 18 and I have a uh, plus, oh wait, do I have any plus for my club? I think I have a minus one. It was a 17 because I'm very weak. Um, So then that's going to be 1d4. That's four plus three plus minus one. Higher. So that's actually six. Okay. Cool. And I guess I have my second attack. How's, how's he looking when I attach him with the- Um, He still looks pretty okay. Okay, I'm gonna go for my hag's claws. Yep. Uh, do, do. I rolled a 15 and I have Bless, which is 1d4. Once I use it, is it up? No. Oh, great. Cool. What, it's not? I thought you got just the one. The concentration. Oh, shit. Thomas, you still got it. So with my has claws, which are plus five to hit, that would have been, I guess I didn't even need my Bless for this. <laughs> so, so that's 20, an unnatural 20. Um, oh. So I'm going to assume that hits, which is 2d6 plus 3 slashing. That's 9 plus 3, so that's 11. 9 plus 3 is 12. Yes, <laughs> what you said. Um, cool. Now he's looking, like, he's still looking okay, but, like, he's got, like, his, his fists up while while he's fighting. Uh, you got him with the torch, which kind of made him put his one fist up, and then you slashed across his arm, um, and you it went deep. So like, there's blood coming right out. He's still he's still looking, he's still standing and fighting, but like, that arm is significantly weakened. And I just say, I'm not gonna do this, but Aleda's thoughts are, I want to lick the blood off of my claws. But she's not going to. Why? There. Ruva. <laughs> Greya, in her heart, is like she needs Dolora. <laughs> I will pray for her. Love the alarm. Why? I would say also, there's probably a good chance that like you're kind of like in her monologue while this is happening. Occasionally, you like in your head laugh to yourself, and it's pretty like your mother's laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one. Um, Dietrich. Uh, I guess Dietrich would kind of see this <laughs> be a little thrown off. Uh, and then he would say, oh, it looks like we're getting serious. Um, and then kind of flying kick into the one that she just cut and try to hit him in the face. But when cool. he does that, if he does it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 20, 20 to hit. Yep. Uh, he's gonna like, as he 
fly and kicks him, will kind of use his other leg to like wrap around him. He's gonna like Black Widow. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that is nine points of damage. Okay. He's looking, oops. He's like barely standing at this point. Uh, so he will kind of like wretch his neck and then like punch him in the face. Cool. Uh, 18 to hit. Yep. Uh, six points of damage. Uh, this guy, when you punch him, just drops. The floor. Okay, well, I'll kind of jump off of him when it happens. <laughs> uh, so Dietrich's good enough. You don't even need to do a dexterity check for that because Dietrich would so have no I, I imagine I'm there as he drops on the ground because I was on <laughs> Um And the other guy, he he will like look at Aleda and be like, you okay? And then just like swing his head back into the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> What is Dietrich's fighting style? What is <laughs> He's not a fighter. <laughs> um, uh, eight plus 14. The hit? Yeah, 22 yeah. hits. Okay. Uh, seven points of damage to that guy. Cool. Uh, can I say that, like, you checking in with Aleda kind of makes her check herself and kind of realize the inner monologue that's happening, and, and she, like, goes, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, and wipes the blood on her dress instead of, instead of, like, licking it off. <laughs> and he'll oh. go, great, and he'll turn around and just, like, sock the guy in the stomach. <laughs> okay. Uh, like, I swear, 22 days. <laughs> Um, and that is eight points of damage. Cool. Uh, so you turn around, sock this guy in the gut, which makes him keel over. Uh, he keels over right into the torch, which burns his face, and he Ooh. drops back onto the <laughs> ground, uh, and he is done as well. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, cool. Anything else? Nope, that's my turn. That's it. All right. Now it's time for the piece of shit to go. Um, because the elf doesn't have a name. <laughs> Just the piece of shit elf. Just the piece of shit. Uh, he does have a name, but I might just change it to piece of shit. Um, no wonder he's better than. <laughs> it's elvish for waterfall, mm. but doesn't translate well. Um, so he's just kind of, again, his gaze is going back and forth between William and Greya. Uh, and he's just like, which one shall I go for? The third option is always you never, you don't have to. I know that's me out of character. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and he looks at Greya, he's like, you truly are a remarkable subject. And then he looks at William, he's like, and you're just kind of a thorn in my side. Uh, and puts out his hand towards William. And gets... Does not get him. Um... So William yes, manages, William. William knows what this guy is like now. When he puts his hand out, William knows to get out of the way as quick as he can. Um, so this guy sends um, an Eldritch Blast right past William's head. And that's it. Now it's the dwarf's turn again. He's gonna keep swinging again, does not hit Thomas. Thomas has now kind of stumbled back because he just got punched in the face. So again, the dwarf's reach just couldn't get there. Uh, and then we're back at Bastion again. 
Richard, what are the odds that I could take this guy that's kind of woozy and barely on his feet and throw him at the dwarf? Um, roll. Okay, first roll a strength to see okay. if you can pick him up. Oh, I got advantage on those because I'm raging, so that's good. Um, so that would be with strength. Let me just check my sheet here for how much is it? Can I use, um, oh, okay, it's the same bonus. Uh, so that would be a 21. So yeah, you pick him up. Um, and then just roll, just roll a straight attack. That strength, I think, is good enough that you would be able to throw him. I won't make you do another check because it was high enough. Okay. Um, so just roll a d20 to see if uh, if you hit. All right. Here we go. Figure out oh, the damage. Reckless attack. Uh, so uh, uh, only a 17. Um, hits. Only a 17. That hits. Okay. Um, Let's figure out some uh, damage here. Ashen looks into the ring and is like, two on one, that's not a fair fight. Um, um, Get the um. chair! Get the chair! (laughs) Oh, he's gonna. Barrel was 2d6. Yeah. Let's say this man is 3d6. Okay. Got some armor. Some All right. Is meteor? Yeah, meteor. <laughs> a meteor? No, just meteor. All right, uh, that is 12 damage. Uh, cool. All of it then. <laughs> so this dwarf just keeps trying to swing and not hitting Tom is getting frustrated. But while she's swinging, a body just comes and smacks her right in the face um and i'm gonna say she's prone too because she just she's a short dwarf who just had a full man thrown at her um so she is prone nightmare uh if you judge that i have enough actions left to do it um bastion will pick up that barrel as a bonus and then use his movement uh their movement to go into the ring um Yeah, you can pick it up as a bonus, sure. Okay. You can't like attack again with it or anything. No, but but uh, just move Bastion into the ring. Yeah, yeah. All right. Then we'll get him into there so that he's nearby. Cool. Hello again, and welcome to another episode of Ask Bastion. Uh, Today, Huron has brought me another letter. Thank you, Huron. Let's read it. Dear Bastion, I have a coconut friend. We'll call him Michael. Anyway, this friend and I go everywhere together. North side of our island, east side, heck, even to the south side when we're feeling wild. Everywhere. Well, one day I went for a walk without him. Well, now Michael isn't talking to me and refuses to hear what I have to say. You know how coconuts can be more pig-headed than most stubborn of my rock friends. Anyway, how should I go about trying to get him to talk to me again? Thank you kindly, Lonely Island Boy. All right, um, hmm. Huron, are, are coconuts sentient even? Is that, is that a thing that happens? I... And we're back. Huron has informed me that coconuts could indeed be awakened, though he says it's silly elf magic. Now, I don't know what distinguishes it from other magic, but if Huron says it's okay, then I suppose we will still move on with the question. So, this reminds me of an old battle companion of mine, Zeth, from the arena. Back when we were fighting together in tag team matches, one time, I forgot to tag him in. I defeated both my opponents handily, and he did not get to fight. Well... This made Zeth very angry, and during the celebration, he climbed into the ring and um, fought me, and, well, I stabbed him. 
So during his long weeks of bed rest, I went to see him and he told me that he had felt, felt left out and forgotten. So I resolved that I was going to make it up to him in a way that he would appreciate. Next time we were in battle, well, I let him fight against both our foes by himself, thereby taking all the glory. And, well, he did die, but first he smiled at me fiercely, letting me know that he was, that I was forgiven. So, I suppose the moral of that story is that if the person is angry with you, you have to make it up to them. You have to let them know they are appreciated and that you value their uh, companionship and their contribution to the team. So, just give him time, is what I would say. And make sure you let him know that he is valued, even though he is just a coconut. Thank you for your question.